Hi, in this video we wanted to talk about mold and humidity in your RV and how to take care of it. One of the first things that we did is we added a temperature and humidity monitor. Now this one we got at Costco and it works off of Wi-Fi and one of the nice features uh, that it has is that it'll Wherever you're at you can plug in the local weather and it'll show you where that forecast is But as you can see on here, it's 92% humidity outside and 49% humidity inside and so we're always trying to keep our humidity below 50% and that's one of the factors that helps contribute to the formation of mold. One of the important things to know is that if you use propane for your heat, a byproduct of burning the propane is water vapor. And so if you're heating your coach with propane and you see a lot of condensation in the morning, you're pumping that uh, moisture into the RV. So you do want to either keep a fan and a vent on or uh, again, use a dehumidifier. In the main area of our RV, what we did is we put a dehumidifier, and this dehumidifier runs on a compressor unit, and there seems to be two different types of dehumidifiers out there. One runs on condensation, and the other runs on a compressor unit. The compressor units are similar to your air conditioners uh, that you see on your roof, and when you see the water dripping out, that's taking the condensation out of the air at the same time that it's cooling. However, the dehumidifier doesn't put out any cool air, it just has uh, a compressor on there. The one that we chose is made by VAC Plus. And what we liked about it, first of all, was the profile. It's about 19 inches tall, 12 inches wide, and it goes maybe four to five inches deep. So I have it tucked in right behind our driver's seat and it gives you plenty of space. Some of the features that it does have, it has two different speeds that you can choose, either high or low. You can have a mode of standard or drying. Drying would be on all the time and standard will take you to a preset humidity. Right now we have our humidity set at 50%. You also have a choice of whether you want to use it on uh, a timer or to defrost if you build up ice in the unit. It does have a tank uh, sensor that will light up when the tank is full. There's a little float inside and it will let you know uh, that it's full and time to empty. The tank is right here on the back and you can empty it by pulling this out and dumping it into a sink. It also has a cutout for a hose that came with the unit. So if you did place it on a shelf, you can have it drain into your sink or into your shower. All in all, that unit has done a great job of keeping our humidity below the 50% level. And it really takes a lot of the moisture out of the air. We're surprised every time we empty it uh, in a 12 hour period, just how much it removed. In our bedroom, we use this small little uh, unit. This one works on condensation only. It doesn't have the compressor like the other one does, but it does remove the uh, water from uh, the air. And it has a small tank, which is halfway full right now. And it's very quiet. We keep it on all the time if our weather station shows the humidity is over 50%. And lastly, we use another product in our closet. In our closet, we use these hanging beds. They're also made by the same manufacturer that makes the dehumidifier. And they're very similar to Damp Rid. They're just a generic version. And we got these because they uh, weren't scented and it, we found them on Amazon. We got a 10 pack uh, of them. I'll, I'll put a link to it below. But as you can see, it has these little beads that absorb moisture on the top and then 
the liquid goes on the bottom and this will help keep your clothes uh, fresh and not uh, damp and moldy. And they recommend, based on the size of your closet, not to use too many. Comes in a little package like this, and there's 10 of them in here. And it's made by Vac Plus, and they're uh, hanging visible dehumidifying bags. The last tip I wanted to leave you with is that we were told by another RVer that they developed moisture inside their cabinets, which created mold. And so one of the things that they told us is that if you're in a uh, RV that has a metal structure, that condensation can build on that metal structure. And even though this one, for example, is carpeted in there, the mold started building up on the carpet. So what you wanna do is you just wanna make sure that the inside of your RV is as dry as possible to keep that moisture from accumulating and creating mold. We hope you enjoyed this tip. Uh, please like and subscribe to get future uh, updates on tips and our travels. We appreciate all our subscribers. Thank you.